is a warrant for your pastor's electronic arrest. I need him to go right now, turn themselves in to end peace. The bond has been set. is 50% off. Go register now. Keep your church out of incarceration from the Stone Age and bring them to the future. All right, let me say good morning. Good morning to everyone that is on. Thank you so much for being on. I think I see Pastor Graves. Um, thank you so much for being on and we know others will be joining us very shortly. Um, I would like to go ahead and introduce um, Randy Harton who will give our welcome for this Super Saturday. This is our very first Super Saturday and we are excited to be here with you on Today, we know that um, Saturdays are great days um, for taking in um, knowledge and just kind of selling ourselves down from the week. So we definitely know that this time is very precious to you. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed by the information that we're going to deliver to you. So uh, what I want to do is bring up Randy Harden at this time, who is going to welcome everybody to, um, to our Super Saturday. Uh -oh. One second, add him on. There you go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Thank you for the opportunity. I uh, want to welcome everyone that's on this uh, uh, on this Super Saturday uh, broadcast this morning. We're we're really intentionally uh, bringing great information to you guys this morning about the, about pivoting into the digital space. So I would ask that you get ready. You get ready, get ready. It's about to be something exciting. Uh, so get your pen and paper, get your questions together because you will have some. And uh, that's my take on this whole deal. This morning, this Super Saturday will be something like no other. So I'm just asking that you uh, uh, all eyes front and let's, let's get the information out here. Therefore people, will have something great to reach toward. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you, thank you. We received calls from pastors this morning that said, listen, don't count me out on my way to a workshop, to a funeral. So this is being recorded as well for them. We also have Toya who will be in the chat um, speaking. If you have any questions or anything towards the end, she'll let us know who's in the chat and let us know the information that you have. So um, I want to... Um, let's do this. We have Pastor Perpina, and I believe he's still on. Let me find him in the queue. There he is. Pastor Perpina, who um, has been a phenomenal, phenomenal blessing in the insight of being a pastor, being someone who uh, utilized the technology and who knows the cutting edge of the times that we're in in the various denominations and why it is important for all of us to have this tool in our hand. So we're gonna have a brief conversation about uh, this technology piece and about where we are even after the pandemic and why it is so important for us to definitely um, move towards getting tools and these um, access, these things in our hands. So help me welcome Pastor Andrew Perpina from Memphis. Tennessee. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So How are glad you? To, doing great. So glad to be here, Michelle, on this Super Saturday. I almost said Super Sunday, but Super okay. Saturday. Yes, and, and we're looking forward for a whole lot of these because uh, it is indeed time for our uh, churches to come back together. Uh, some, uh, we're going to come back together in person, but we also have this great and grand opportunity to come together uh, virtually. Mm -hmm. And so um, I, I know when, when uh, I guess it was uh, the end of December, end of December 2021, I met with uh, our congregation uh, virtually, and, and I said, hey, we, we're going to have to find a better way to do this, we can push out. We can push out. We're doing YouTube, we're doing Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. We can push out. But so 
uh, people, were, they were seeing me, yeah. you know, things of that nature. But as far as that connectivity, that integration, bringing the church back together on a whole nother level, a uh, platform that was missing. And I told them, um, I think it was uh, in January after the, the beginning of the year, I said, look, I'm going to have to find a new solution. Uh, and I promise you, it was a week later. Mm -hmm. it, it was a week later. I got a call from NP saying, hey, we want you to look at this. Uh, we're, and, and, and I told the church, I mean, you can check all of my all of my members. I told them, I said, y'all won't believe this. But somebody called me about about a church app. And and we we've been uh, going ever since. Uh, I'm a techie by heart. Uh, but I'm, you know, financial person uh, in church as well. Um, started our church, uh, I guess, 15 years ago. Uh, we have a small church, and uh, um, this in peace uh, solution, as we began to look at it and and see all of the pain points that uh, everybody was dealing with. I mean, whether it was a mega church or whatever, uh, as far as connectivity. Uh, small groups getting and then now getting the members back into the house one way or the other, whatever your house looks like, that connectivity, communicating uh, with your members, they communicating back, uh, small groups and things of that nature. And this in peace product that, that, that I have uh, been fortunate enough to uh, deal with uh, is 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 a blessing. It is indeed a blessing, most definitely. Uh, when it comes to talking about getting back to church, one way or the other, uh, the push notifications of the in peace product. Uh, uh, you know, somebody may say texting, <laughs> yeah. but 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 uh, push notification where um letting your members letting visitors letting potential uh members know what's going <laughs> on in your church in your organization things of that nature uh announcements um all that it, it's it's been a lifesaver for us and we we keep going we keep going um for the for the small and medium churches the big churches i always say the big churches are gonna do what they do they got resources they got but you know uh i'm a founder of a church so hey we make every penny count and we walk by faith and not by sight and we do stuff that uh hey you, you know it doesn't even supposed to be done but then here comes in peace and uh um this you know i call it I, I hate to downgrade it to an app, mm -hmm. but more of a solution is fully customizable. So it gives us a whole lot of things that uh, we can do. Of course, the giving apparatus and the small group communication uh, uh, possibilities and uh, pushing notifications. Of course, we, you know, it just popped up behind me right there. See if y'all scan that, just scan that right now. Just scan that, scan that code and do what the Lord says do. See, it makes giving easy. You see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, so it makes giving easy. It makes giving easy. Um, so that's what the app is. Uh, a lot of, and I, I'll say this and, and shut up, uh, historically, churches will say, well, I have an app. We have an app. And basically, historically, the app was basic, basically a, a miniature version of the website. Mm -hmm. And the website had pictures and show pictures and all that you did and a calendar and all of that. But now this solution, and as we go into this next gen, uh, you'll see where the, the app I mean, the website will literally become a a bigger version of the app. And so that's what even with the end piece, I'm just excited about that, because uh, when you're dealing with smaller churches, medium sized churches, we don't have all of those resources. And so when you get into this in peace uh, solution app, it comes with a website. Isn't that something? And so I'm just excited about all of that. And uh, I can go on and on about in peace, but we're just excited about those that are that are coming on, uh, that are here, and those that are, will watch this in the future. Uh, um, um, you can't go wrong with it. Thank you, thank you, Pastor Papina. You have a passion 
for this technology. And we're so grateful to have you as one of our preferred refer partners and just um, helping us navigate a lot of the relationships that we have been a part of um, just in the forthcoming. So thank you for your leadership and thank you so much for being on this morning. Guys, now we're ready to show you what we've been bragging about, what is the big deal this morning. And so this is our very first Super Saturday. We're gonna have these every fourth um, Saturday. We have a big surprise for October. And so we're excited about that. Already have our speaker and someone you definitely want to be on and you want to get your referral partners on. You want to get your customers, those that are on the fence, making a decision about how they're going to pivot into this digital space. You want to definitely get them on. So now we're ready to share with you what's not really the what's the hype but what we're so excited about and so i'm going to go ahead and i think i'm sharing my screen right now and um i want to just let's see if i could do this um uh this is okay so let's see if i do it this way there we go there we go okay so hopefully everybody can see my screen remember that uh, we have latoya in the chat um, you could definitely put your co uh, comments, your questions in the chat, and she will be helping um, with those at the end of the call. You know, I see some of our other um, um, sales and preferred um, um, partners on, so we'll definitely be acknowledging them a little later. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump in and get started. We are in peace, and we're so excited about this company, the technology that it has brought to um, the United States. This is our CEO, Felipe Colio, and he is from Brazil. The wonderful thing about it is um, he's now um, seen the, the importance of coming to the United States and connecting with the black and brown community. And so this has been something that has been phenomenal for us. In one year, we literally brought on close to 1,000 churches in the African-American community. And that's wonderful. My name is Michelle Harden, Ministry Engagement Specialist. I also oversee the sales for the African American community and the partnerships around um, around our state. So whether it's Church of God in Christ, PAW, NBC, PNBC, we are building those relationships because we want to make sure we're putting in the hands the tools that the pastors need. Now we're going to have a conversation about this um, technology and why it's so important um, to make sure that your church has the cutting edge, something that's going to grow with them, as well as be the answer to some of the immediate needs that you have right now. And so we're going to talk a little bit about church church and so as we we say that the church has been the the pillar of um many communities in the existence of a lot of thousands millions of pastors and churches um, and members have collectively come together every sunday to have a worship experience and so pre-pandemic nobody ever could have imagined uh, being in a place where they worshiping side by side and you're telling me that in a few months in a few days we're going to have to social distance or that we're not going to even be able to come into the house of the lord nobody could have ever told us that that was something that was unprophesied or unpredicted or unstated and so it happened. And so the pastors had to be very creative. And whoever did this, I give them kudos because now they needed an emotional connection. So then they began to put pictures on the pews so they can at least have somebody, somebody to talk to and to express what um, what was, you know, what um the sermon to be able to connect to. So we're talking about connectivity, connectivity. So thus now bringing us to a place where we're having hybrid church because you still have some of these individuals who are still absent. They're not coming back to church. They are experiencing e-church. Maybe they found a church. You're in Tennessee, uh, Pastor Papina, and they are in Texas. And so they want to connect and they love what you're doing. They love your message. They love your teaching. So now they have become an e-church member. And so that's why technology is so important for us to pivot to. We're going to talk a little bit more about this statement by Nona Jones, who is faith, faith 
Facebook faith par um, uh, partnership director. And so she says this statement, she says social media is about marketing and social ministry is about discipleship. And let me really explain what that means. That means that we have taken flyers and we have put them on Facebook. We said, we have in this service, we have in this event, we have it, um, um, you know, this banquet or whatever we were promoting our event because we want people to come. Let's say that we have a talk show, we have a message, we have a devotional that we're also putting out there that we want people to connect to. What happens to the people that like, that share, and that comment? You've now engaged them. You've now engaged them into a social um, uh, media. You, you engage them into a conversation where they want more information. And so social media is strictly about marketing, strictly about telling people who you are, what you do, and why should they care, right? But to take those people who have commented, who have liked, who have shared, and to bring them into a place, now you're bringing them into discipleship, discipleship. And so that's the important piece when we look at how we're able to um, have in peace as a social ministry platform. And so all social ministry is, is leveraging social media tools to disciple people in a digital environment. It's, it's being able to take them, and I heard um, Dana Carson last night talk about this, that we have to learn to remove the hype in order to get people to a place where they understand what kingdom is so that they can have the success and the manifestation of who God has called them to be in their life. So this is where we take all the fluff out. We bring them to a platform. We have small groups. We have devotionals. We have prayer alerts. We have prayer walls. All these things are founded in our app. So one mistake I would say that we've done um, when we look at broadcasting, when we look at, um, let's say, just pastors, putting their digital content on Facebook, on social media. One of the, one of the biggest mistakes, uh, well, let me, let me see if you know, can you put it in the chat? Just type in the chat what you think the biggest mistake we've done as far as broadcasting. Put it in the chat. Y'all put it in the chat real quick. Just type in the chat. There we go. I see, I see one. Okay, so one of the biggest mistakes that we've done, ownership of content, absolutely. Um, uh, Anita, uh, uh, and Tina, and Tina, hopefully I'm saying that right. Tina, can I just say Tina? Absolutely. We have trusted our content to social media and now we lose the uh, proprietary rights to that. And when I say lose, I mean that now, Anybody can use your stuff. Anybody can use your devotionals. Anybody can use your digital content because now you've put it in a place that is definitely like free market, right? So that's one of the biggest mistakes. Even as we look at churches, the sermons are good, but it was never meant for broadcasting, never ever meant for broadcasting. So as we review how we can pivot and get into the digital space, we're gonna tell you how to do that. Now we are an all in one digital platform, an all-in-one technology solutions app, okay? You can manage, mobilize, and monetize your digital content. So now what I'm going to do, I want to bring up uh, one of my colleagues, someone that I highly, highly respect, someone who's been phenomenal as a leadership to um, continue to um, help us to grow in various markets. He is um, dynamic in um, his presentations and all the things that we have been able to work collectively to do. We've been at NBC together, a couple of other places, and just watching his work, et work ethic has been phenomenal to actually see. So I want to bring up none other than Dr. Sean Nicholson, who's going to take us a little further in our presentation. So Dr. Sean, let me find you before you get started. There you are, and I'm going to highlight your, um, let's see, da, 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 da. Okay, so it's not allowing me to. Okay, are you on or you need me to continue? I am on. I'm on. Okay, there you, you go. Hear me? 
I can hear you and see you now. So I'm going to add you to the spot. Okay. There you go. Yes, sir. Go ahead and take it away. All right. Well, thank you. And good morning to everyone. First, let me put a disclaimer that I am mobile. So I do apologize for that. I'm stationary, but I'm mobile. So I'm not sitting at a desk. Uh, but as uh, Michelle had already mentioned, we've been working together with NPs and I'm not only a pastor, but I'm an entrepreneur. And for those of you that know, entrepreneurship is not full time, part time is all the time. So I had some stuff I had to take care of on today. But nonetheless, thank you for joining us. Um, I am excited about uh, you being here. I'm excited about this uh, solution. Uh, that we have embarked upon and we trust that you'll learn something uh, today that will help you to further your ministry. Uh, we're about kingdom business, growing ministry and business. Um, the world of 2.0, church 2.0, uh, as I normally say that the first church was in Acts and we know that the, when the Holy Spirit came in as a mighty Russian uh, wind and they were all in one place, one accord, and that's what took place. But now we're in a situation that we have the world of church 2.0 because of technology. Um, we literally have the world at our fingertips in person of the, or in place of the, uh, the app or the smartphone devices that we have that have so many different apps on there. And through our research and statistically, we found out that there's three hours of time uh, that people spend in terms of average time on their cell phones. Um, I often say that mine is a little bit higher than that. It's I've spent about five hours um, a day on my phone, and it's probably increased now because of the uh, MPs. <laughs> but we do spend a lot of time on the phone, and that's an average. And everybody would be different, but that's a lot of time to be spent using a smartphone. And as a result of that, you have 89% of that time is spent on mobile apps. That's your, your Netflix or your Ubers, your, uh, your Instacart and what various apps that you have on your phone currently using Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, those are apps uh, that you utilize on your phone. So you're looking at 89% of people are spending their time using their mobile apps in that three hour window. That's a lot, right? And so now three times um, of time spent during that day is being used on mobile apps as opposed to websites. It used to be a time when smartphones first came out, we were searching Google, we were doing this, um, this company and trying to find this information. But now most companies uh, that are intentional about their, their business plan, they have a mobile app. And so now we're looking at these mobile apps and we're utilizing them as opposed to doing a search or going into the, uh, a website on our mobile phone. We kind of save the searches for our desktop or our, our laptops. Now, through the world of Church Point 2.0, we are now seeing that this is a digital age. Uh, we have a lot of banking is done now. Uh, we have uh, direct deposits. We have all of these different features or, or uh, solutions, we'll call them, that are prevalent in our world. Well, in peace is no different because through this app, we're able to see 67% of online giving. And, and that's happening between Monday and Saturday. Long are the days uh, that we have to wait till Sunday to be able to give our offering, or we have to wait till Sunday to give our tithe. We can give it during the week with no problem uh, through the NPs mobile app by way of Car Connect. And this is just exciting because now people, just like they have direct deposit or just say the first or the 15th, they can set up a recurring gift uh, for their time. They can say a recurring gift for the pastor's anniversary. They can set a recurring gift to help the youth department out or the mission ministry or whatever the case may be. All of that can be set up using the mobile app through NPs by way of Car Connect. Now that's exciting because now that 30% increase we have seen in some churches that it's just positive. It's very, very positive for everyone uh, that knows anything about giving. 30% increase, that's a lot, you know? So we're, we're excited to be able to, again, introduce the world of Church 2.0 in the form of this app. And with all of this data that we've given you and all of that you'll be hearing uh, throughout this particular Super Saturday is 
when you sum it up, 145 minutes per day is time spent with digital engagement, with um, um, searching the internet in terms of your smartphone, use your smartphone through Instagram, social media platforms and all that. So if all of this time, if all of this information that we are showing you is people in general that are already using their smartphone, why does not the church have a presence in that market? in that marketplace. And that's where we're here for, to introduce the world of church 2.0. Now, with that, we have been able to um, acquire, if you will, partnerships with various denominations, various uh, local ministries, churches, pastors. Um, the Winings, I remember, I'm a Marvin Winings fan and I'm a Winings um, um, fan from way back. I, matter of fact, I have a VHS tape with a Winings concert on uh so that that's probably dated myself but there you go and um they used to sing a song that millions uh didn't make it but i'm so <laughs> glad i'm the one that did so we got north of six thousand churches that have come on board with this app and i'm glad that i'm one of them okay and you can be one of them also today but that's a lot so we've only been in the states roughly 18 months, give or take, and to have north of 6,000 churches already participating. Now, NPs has been along, been around for uh, right around eight years, give or take. So it's they're not new to this world at all. And that's why we see 13 countries represented. That's why we have over 2 billion downloads represented because they've been in the game of developing apps and, and increasing ministries and, and uh, connectivity and engagements for uh, local churches so they, we got a track record so you're not this is not a fly by night and i say that because i started my church planted the church about 14 years ago 15 if you include a year of outreach and when we did that in 2007 and 8 i had a mobile app and when the recession came in and kind of altered a lot of ways that or a lot of things that were happening the company that was actually having that had the app went out of business because it was bought out from another company and they had different um, direction of where they wanted to take. So we lost that online presence and we were doing pretty good with having an online presence. That's the days of the MySpaces and all that. So again, I'm dating myself, but nonetheless, technology has been around for so long in this space, but we just haven't been privy to it. So now 2022, we're presenting that same uh, technology, but in a, I mean, a whole different way now because everything is moving through technology. Now, alongside in peace, your church, if done right, they can really see um, giving increase. They can really see engagement increase. They can really see uh, new members. And I'll circle back on some of these. We can really see event and, um, and ticket prices or ticket uh, sales to, to increase as well group participation, as well as virtual and live um, uh, attendance. Now, I want to highlight a couple of things because I'm a firm believer that whether your church is smaller or with 100 members, 1,000 members, 10,000 members, whatever the case, the fastest way to grow that church is through outreach in small groups. So let's talk about that. If we were talking about 51% of engagement and sharing up, that's evangelism. That's outreach. Because now I don't have to present a business card per se, I can present the app. I don't have to just have a basic flyer for print mini media. I can have a QR code, a quick response code that would direct that individual to the app. That is powerful. When I'm in the supermarket, if I'm at the gas station, if I'm in a restaurant, I'm talking to the waitress or the waiter and I'm saying, hey, do you have a church home? No, you should be able, you should come visit us. And here's our app, you know, already, that's going to be impressive to them because a lot of churches don't have apps. So this is good. This is good for, for the world of church 2.0. And, and you will see uh, that engagement increase. Then let's talk about the small groups. We talk about connectivity. We talk about engagement. There are a lot of great things that you're doing at your local church within the four walls or in the brick and mortar as we like to look at it. Why not share that with the world? And now you can set up small groups that you can have team leaders and everything is directed through the app. 100% customizable. You're able to, I say, have your look, your feel, your personality right there. You can literally take 
everything in your brick and mortar and put it in the virtual space. I talked to pastors across the country and they'd say, well, yeah, we got a virtual church and I push back. I, I caution them because I say, well, you have a great online presence, but a virtual church, mm, maybe not, not without this. Because now this literally, I can take everything in my local church and replicate it into the virtual space by way of this smartphone uh, or this app. And that's very, very powerful. So these are the statistics and these are the things that you'll see um, in a partnership with NPs uh, that we're very proud of. Uh, we, we, are, we are proud to be an app holder as well. So we have one for the church, we have one for um, our nonprofit, if you will. And these are things that we're not just talking or selling it, we're using it and because it's all about the kingdom. And don't forget, the Great Commission is to go out into all the world and preach the gospel. And we have the solution that can help you go into all the world and preach the gospel, share the gospel through the In Peace map. Amen. Awesome, 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 Dr. Sean. Thank you so much. Um, you make us feel like we want to join again. And I was looking at that. And you're right, all of us. The and, doors um, of the church are open. They're open, right? If All of you us come? who are partners uh, with In Peace, we have an app. Um, so we're not selling you anything. And some right. of them are in the marketplace, Pastor Peter is a pastor. Uh, mm -hmm. Pastor Sean, he's a pastor. Um, we have Kim Yancey, who's a first lady in the past, uh, and um, her husband is a pastor. But we are marketplace pastors, but we all utilize this tool because we know the importance of having it. Now, see, I believe that showing um, you know how they say show and tell, we can go through a whole lot of slides. We evangel help you evangelize. You know, we tell you how to do that. We do stewardship. We can teach you how to do that. But I believe um, showing you is, is literally more powerful than anything. And we'll come back and we'll touch some of the slides that may be available that I maybe did not cover. And then we'll tell you at the end how you can join uh, this Super Saturday, um, awesome, amazing um, um, opportunity to join in peace with us at the end. And then we'll answer any questions that you actually have. If you have any questions for us, we'll be happy to answer. We have people on that is well able to talk about technology, talk about the church, whatever you want to talk about. We're going to be on um, at least to 10 o'clock because we definitely want to respect your time, okay? So let me go ahead and I'm going to share my screen and um, we're going to just take a look at a um, an app on what we actually, what we actually um, will develop, our team and our company will develop for you. So let me go ahead and connect here and I'm going to share my screen. And so let's see. So now you, that's my son, guys. We got to love our children. That's my son. So um, here when we look at um, one of the apps, one of the ones I often feature because they've been with us for uh, a year. They were probably one of our first African-American churches that came on. But I want to feature um, uh, Fountain of Praise, uh, Pastor Remus and Mia Wright. And I just want to show you some functionalities. As you can see in the background, there is a digital um, background that runs. So this is a representation of their ministry. So what they wanted people to know about them before actually engaging with them. So this is done by either your media, your media department creating a 30 second reel and presenting this to our uh, development company. This is faster. This is much faster if you create it and you deliver, we'll give you the dimensions and um, all of what you need. And even here we have people who are online who possibly can help you if you need help as well. But we have a, a department that actually, if you don't have this and you don't have your media department, we'll need videos, we'll need photos and so being able to get that turned in get it back sometimes that delay a little time maybe about five to seven days because it has to be developed on top of everything else that they're working on as well so it is great if you can get somebody to create this for you 30 seconds and it's just a simple background what you want to make sure is that um your you know, the screen is clear. I know some pastors say, okay, this Sunday, I'm gonna have somebody take some video of me preaching us, you know, just take video of the outside of the church. And you literally just putting this 
um, these components together. So this is the background. Another thing we talked about giving, one of the most important things um, for churches to be able to have a platform for members to give. And so there's been some fear and apprehension in other platforms that we, you know, that we currently use, whether they integrate um, with our um, with our platforms, they do the URLs. However, um, some of the functions with our app would not work with another uh, giving platform, but you are able to put it on your on your um, on your app. And after a while, you're not going to need it because we're the lowest when you talk about processing fees. We're at two point four percent. And not just that, when they give on a Sunday, you have your money in the bank on Monday. So they give on a Sunday, money in the bank on Monday, that's 24 hours. So as Pastor Pepina also talked about, you are allowing members and people to give to you. And even Dr. Sean mentioned that you're allowing them to give to you on a reoccurring, but not just doing um, on Sundays. They're giving Monday through, um, through Saturday. The percentage that was uh, submitted to us was 32%, 32% increase of people giving from Monday to Saturday. So this app gives them the opportunity to do that. One of the things that I love about our um, stream, it connects to the YouTube or your Facebook, whichever link that you're using to stream your, um, your services, um, it's, it's embedded into our app. One of the features to understand is that that live stays there. It stays there until you go live again. So the last service that um, the uh, the rights had was the midweek service. So Sunday, this will go away and then Sunday will be there. So this is the latest stream, but not just that it stays there for people to click and play. And so it's on mute because I want you to, it's on mute because I want you to see a couple of features that is offered within this app. So let's see who's preaching, uh, who's doing Bible study. So this person is doing Bible study, you know, Bible study, they're giving you a whole lot of scriptures, right? They say a turn to Exodus, you know, eight. Then they say, no, go to, you know, go somewhere else. We want you to go somewhere else. We want you to go to the New Testament and go to, uh, let's go to the New Testament. All right, let's go to Ephesians. Okay, three. As you see, as I peruse through the um, different Bible functions, I never left the, the message. That is a great feature within this app and giving is the same. Giving will allow you to give while you're inside of the service as well. So that's great features that we have on here. You're able to let them know about you, about your ministry, who are you and your social media um, connections. You can have these social, um, social media connections here as well as you can have them on the app itself where you see Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Another feature that I love showing is because our app is URL friendly. That means if you have a website, you have a blog, you have something that has a URL that you want to connect to this app, they have one and it's called Global Missions. So I'm gonna click on Global Missions. When I click on Global Missions, you're gonna see their website come up. This was an already developed piece of marketing um, that they had members engaging with. So don't reinvent the wheel if you already have it. Let's utilize it in a place on the app. Small groups, um, they have one called Sunday School. For small groups, you can list them as many small groups as you would like to have. If you want entrepreneurs, if you're teaching a particular group, if you're coaching a particular group, then you can go ahead and you can um, have those groups there um, and, and have them listed accordingly, okay? But when we click on small groups, what we'll find is a description about that small group and Sunday, you know, what time it is, where it's gonna be the, um, the address and who is over it. Now, my, mind you, they have been with us um, for, over a, for about a year now. And so every week there is a conversation with this ministry on different things, different utilizations. So we want you to have the same relationship with our customer service team is that you schedule a weekly uh, consult or weekly, bi-weekly, whatever you need. We want to grow with you in, in this app. That's why their app is so laid out. We're doing some other things with them uh, coming up very soon. But this also is the event center. In the event center, you can list all of your events that you're having for the rest of the year. 
and how people can engage with them. It just takes a moment for whoever is over the events to begin to just upload the information, the details. And so you'll see that happening as you look at, um, you know, different events. And so as we look at CC Wines event, find out more information, get tickets, where it's going to be at. So they can find out more and then they can actually go on and they can order the tickets um, here. Okay. So you have that um, under the belt. I'm going to go to City Church which is Dr. Michael Stevens, um, he's the pastor there. He used something that's called sermon notes. And for our pastors, this is a feature that they really, really love. So when we look at um, some of the features, we may see a sermon. Now notice all of these are archived. So let's say there's a sermon um, that we wanna go into um, look at. We see all of the notes that have been created for that ministry or for what he wanted to share with his members and then for them to be able to share. This was an impactful, powerful sermon. So now I wanna share this with someone. So all I do is hit that share button. I'm not sharing it to social media because remember social media is about marketing and social ministry is about discipleship. So now we're using this discipleship as a tool to, to connect with our brother, sister, husband, wife, so I will send it to someone that's on the line who can vouch when they actually get it. And that's my husband, Randy. So he has a lot of sermons and messages that I've sent him because I always use him as, you know, a go-to for these. But this is a powerful tool to, to have. You can do the same thing with the videos. It's the same um, opportunity that you can do there. And I so have it, Michelle. Thank you. So the whole um, value of having this app and i don't want to spend a lot of time going over every feature because it is a lot that you can do and we're even creating more we're creating the the kids um children's check-in we have some other things that we're working on that we'll be releasing very soon but here's the thing we want to grow with you and your ministry and so in order to do that we want to um first onboard you as a client onboard you as a customer as a partner with in peace, right? So um, I'm gonna share with you how we actually do that. So I think I'm done sharing on the phone. I just want to give you just a little snippet on how we actually, um, how you, you know, what you actually see in an app, what we actually are able to deliver. So a couple of more features on that, and then we will, um, I will move to one other announcement and then how you actually sign up and then we'll be done for today. Um, so let me go back. Let me go back to Zoom. Uh-oh, what happened? Okay, hold on, let me do this. All right, so let me find my presentation. All right, here we go. So I already mentioned the, the fabulous things that you get when we talk about stewardship, fellowship. What I want to highlight is that we have push notifications. That was mentioned earlier, but the members that onboard on your app, you're able to do unlimited push notifications to everyone and then unlimited push notifications to groups. If you have groups and you want to divide them up or you have denominations and you have certain groups within the denominations you want to to, um, to target. So the um, other thing I want to show you is the dashboard. The dashboard deals with how you manage everything that's on the app. It is for the administrator, for the pastor, for the media team. It's for whoever will have action on the mobile app, whoever will be um, working on the mobile app. So uh, another highlight I mentioned here, which I think is important, is credentials. So you can have as many people managing the app as you want to. However, you can give permissions to the level of authorities that they have within the app. Another feature is that you not only get the mobile app, but you also get a um, duplicate or replica of that in a web page. Because there's still some of our seniors and some people that will go to an app, um, I mean, go to a dashboard or website before they go to an app. They'll go to a website before they actually go to an app. And so here's our offer for you today. This is an exciting part. This is our Super Saturday. Um, our sales team came together and said, listen, on the fourth Saturday of every month, this is our time to just cream our crop. 
whoever, you know, has been, you know, just waiting for this awesome time for us to get together. This is our offering to you. Our regular price is $199. And I can tell you that this app is absolutely worth every penny of it. And so it's $199 and then $69 a month. But we have our um, special, our fall special that is going for $69.69, meaning that you will pay $69 today. And then uh, when the app is delivered, you will pay the uh, other 69 or it'd be on reoccurring. So you want to go and I want to show you, I think it's important for me to show you because sometimes um, if you don't hit apply, you're going to be paying that $199. So let's do this. I'm going to go, I'm going to show you how to actually log into our um, website and how to actually um, process your payment. And then um, you can continue that after the, the call today. Okay, so I'm going to put an in peace app is the website in peace app.com in peace app.com. This is our website. Okay, you can go and peruse more information, find out more information about us and our services. And so I'm going to talk about the faith and tech technology summit tour that's uh, actually coming up. I'll, I'll say that for the end. But here is the um, application. You're going to hit monthly. So when you click on monthly, we do have an annual version. Uh, just let us know if you want to upgrade. But for right now, we're going to be talking about monthly. You're going to go in and just go ahead and put in your information. And then you're going to put in the code. The code is what? SS130. And that means Super Saturday, 130. We're giving you $130 off this app. Make sure you hit apply make sure you hit apply. When you hit apply, you miss, immediately see that we have removed $130, okay? That we removed $130 for you. So I want to show you that part. And then you go forth and you fill out the rest. It's basically self-explanatory. Um, you'll also receive an additional email from Car Connect, who's the processing. And you want to fill that out simultaneously. So when the app is delivered, your giving is already ready to go. And our customer service will additionally help you with that as well. Um, let me see if we have anything else on the slide. I think that's all I want to mention on the slide. But I do want to go to um, what we experienced on last night. Um, what we experienced on last night was absolutely phenomenal. We were at a, um, a conference, a holy convocation in Houston, and uh, there was a pastor. We were talking to um, Dr. Dana Carson and uh, just sharing the app and sharing the information with him. And up comes another pastor to say, yeah, you got to get this app. This app is phenomenal. And he was from Church of God in Christ, and it was uh, Bishop Benton. And so we was excited that we had someone we were introducing the app to, and then somebody who had the app, and their paths collide right there. That is how small our circle is beginning to come. In October, it is clergy month. It's going to be absolutely bananas. It's going to be crazy with the conv convocations that's going to be going on, full gospels having an event. So I want to tell you, the circle is getting smaller, smaller, smaller. And all a pastor have to do is say, listen, look, here's an app. You need to get this app. And so you can become a referral partner. So if you're interested, you're on the line, you want to become a referral partner for us, you want to work with us, you want to help us reach the masses of pastors in fellowships, organizations, jurisdictions, um, all the state conventions, we want you. So what I want you to do is just put in a chat that you want to be a referral partner, put your number in there, you can send it to me directly, we'll get you trained. And the only thing we're going to train you on is just basically the overview of who in peace is and how our compensation plan actually works. We are not a multi-level marketing company. Let me say it again. We are not a multi-level referral, uh, multi-level um, company. We are a referral partner. This is a relationship business. So our, our sales are built upon relationships, but relationships that results in sales, right? That's why we're here is to serve the African-American church and to give you the tools that you need. And so with that, um, I'll, I'll be here to answer any questions that you guys have along those lines. We're doing very good. We got 10 minutes. I want to run this video for you. We're having a faith and technology conference summit um, at the end of October in Florida in uh, Orlando, Florida. And so we have invited um, some of the biggest names in um, 
in in church period, whether it's Hispanic, whether it's um, in uh, Brazilian, which they speak Portuguese, or whether it's in the African American church, we are collectively coming together to um, have this amazing event, first time ever in in peace, and I'm so glad to be a forerunner and to help um, lead and guide this event um, to what, what you're about to see. So this is going to be October 27th and 28th. So pastors get there, everybody get there. It's going to be phenomenal. And then in January, we'll be in Atlanta, the same model. And then in March, we will be at the Fountain of Praise in Houston, Texas in March. Okay. So go ahead and take a look. <laughs> Register now. It is absolutely free. It is absolutely free. Absolutely free. So I wanted to make sure you guys got a chance to see that. We're so excited about this very first um, opportunity to present in peace. And so it's going to be phenomenal. So um, I want to answer if we have any questions on here. If we have any questions, uh, Latoya, can you go ahead and see if you have any questions? We don't have any yet. Any questions? Okay. Okay. Awesome. 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 So, um, Atina, we do have your application. Carlos will be giving you a call on Monday to make sure you are plugged into our referral um, training that will take place on Monday, 6 p.m. onboarding. Once you onboard it, then everybody moves to our Monday meetings. Our Monday meeting starts at 11 o'clock. Central Standard Time. So that's where we take time, go through a lot of um, uh, what's happening, our sales, and you're more um, in the circle. You're, you're now in the cusp of everything at that time. So yeah, so go ahead and make sure you meet your Monday orientation, and then we'll get your cards and um, your, your cards and t-shirts and all that order. And then you'll also get your codes. It's important, like when our uh, preferred our referral partners come on, we give you codes. So you could be somewhere at church and somebody see your app, they say, I want that. And just send them to the app, send them to the website, use your codes and it's a done deal. You get credit for that. That's how easy it is to partner and to work with us. So do we have any questions? I see, is it Pastor Graves you're on? Pastor Graves have Sharon Austin that's on, have Maria that's on and, um, uh, Ms. Powell that's on. Do you guys have any questions for us? You guys are muted. No, you good, Pastor Graves? You good? Okay. Well, awesome, awesome. Well, go ahead and register. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Awesome. This has been fabulous. I'm so excited about the app. Uh, just wanted to come on and ask a question about for those of us that are the marketplace entrepreneurs. Okay. Um, we may not have a church per se, but um, can you just share how this can benefit us? And maybe this is something you can share in a future live Saturday. God bless you. 
Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Great question. Um, so my husband and I, we are marketplace. Um, so we are a multimedia company and we do film. And so we utilize the app. So we use it for our events. We have a major event that's coming up next year. So all of our registrations is going to the app. We don't have a separate platform. They're not going to the website. They're not going to Eventbrite. All of our registration is going to our app to drive um, uh, traffic to the app. Um, you also can utilize the prayer wall. We use the prayer, prayer wall. We do a, a prayer call every Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. My husband leads it. And so um, we'll have them, you know, go there and interact in the prayer wall. Anything that has a URL. So as a marketplace, um, business, consultant, coaches, um, you have your own independent ministry. They can utilize the app too. Authors can utilize the app. We have KK Mind, who is a national uh, praise day and mining company. Um, they have purchased and they utilize the app too for all of their sales, everything that they're doing. Um, they use it as well. So it's very easy for entrepreneurs and kinopreneurs. Awesome. We have another, we have another one of our um amazing amazing partners that's on with us today so glad that she's on i want her to greet everybody um kim is what we would call a founding a founding um member of the referral partner of just being in the sales period she was on before any of us were except for pastor Pepina. he's been with the company forever with other things but um, Kim is very instrumental in helping us to grow um, our in peace influence and networking. She's a first lady in uh, Lamarck, Texas. And so I want her to come on and greet everybody this morning as well. Kim, go ahead. Hi, good morning, everyone. And thanks for being a part of the in peace movement. Uh, as she said, in peace is dominoing. Everyone, this is uh, affordable for all of our churches in America. Uh, we've been with the company now, my husband and I, over a year. And about a, a year and four months, I believe it is, um, we have been just amazed what this product can do and more importantly, what it's doing for the church. Uh, we are living in the first unchurched generation in America, and we have to find new ways to evangelize, not just here in America, but in the world as well. So this is a tool that the Holy Ghost has provided for us, and we're just trying to get the word out, going church to church, uh, bringing phenomenal people on like Michelle and, and Randall, who absolutely adore the church and understand the pain points of this church. So we are uh, we're ready to grow and go to the next level. So excited about you guys being here. And please, we ask you to spread the word, spread the today. If you can share that with about 10 people today, that code so that they can see the um, they can see the app for themselves. It is a game changer for all size churches. So thanks Michelle for allowing me the opportunity to speak and say hello to everyone and get ready to become a part of an amazing app family. Awesome, awesome, thank all you. Right, Kim. Kim. <laughs> Kim always represents, she, no matter what, if first lady, all whatever field she is in, she always represents. And so we thank her for her leadership as well with In Peace. Uh, the last thing I'll mention, and then we'll let everybody go, is that on Mondays, every Monday, every Monday we have Expand the Brand. And it is where you can come, hear the presentation, and we also do training. So we have pastors, some pastors who will say, I don't have a logo. I don't know how to do a flyer. I don't have an administration team. Well, guess what? We have a team that can help you outside of what you're doing with In Peace. We have people in all their rights that are very capable of helping you take your ministry to the next level. And so we introduce those type of things to you because our bottom line for Passive Solutions Network, anything that we've been connected to, we want you to succeed. And we know that between you know a small church, medium, medium church is not just the dollars, but it's the resources and it's the know with how know the know-how. Okay. So with all of this being said, thank you guys so much for being on with us. Happy Saturday and thank you again. And if you are not a member of In Peace, go and join right now, npeace.com, npeaceapp.com, and your promo code is SS130. We'll be sending that out in the text as well. Thank you. God bless. Have a great day. All righty. God bless. God bless. God bless. Bye -bye.